Serving Lake Martin, this is WAXC-TV, Lake Martin's hometown station. <laughs> Sitting on with Kenny, out on with Kenny D. Uh -huh. And I know you're gonna like it on your color TV screen. You're watching at home with... It must be Friday night, and you know exactly who you are. I'm Kenny Dean. Hey, welcome to the show. We, we have gone down in the valley to bring some folks up on top of the hill uh, with us here in the Alexander City uh, area. Now, you know oh, uh, Ricky Price. He's been with us uh, for, for many, many years. They let him out uh, just to, to be out here with us on this Friday night. Mr. Bradley Bonner and his lovely wife, Miss Carly, are uh, with us from HPTV3, is that, is, am I getting that right? You got it That's right. Correct. Thank y'all so much for doing this. Now, Ricky's been on the show before. I am so glad you came to add a little class uh, and beauty to this show. It needs a lot. It needs a lot of it. Why do you think I brought it? <laughs> <laughs> tell me about what, what goes on, and I know we're going to see some stuff, but tell me what goes on with, with y'all's TV station. We basically kind of like what you do here, just on a smaller scale. We're a small local TV station in the Greater Valley area, and uh, we cover the towns of West Point, Valley, and Lynette. And West Point, of course, Georgia. is across the line, Georgia line, but we do. Uh, we're on Wow Channel Three, mm -hmm. and uh, we cover those cities, and we cover a lot of community things. Tape uh, right now, we got community baseball going on with oh, the kids boy. and that kind of thing, you know. And uh, parents love to. To watch that oh, so sure. we try to cover local events and mm -hmm. pretty much the same type things you do and uh, we have uh, an outdoor show called Kentucky Field that we show mm -hmm. and I've been running it ever since I started the TV station up and uh, speaking now, of that, that eight years, eight years. Team, uh, going into our ninth no eighth year I'm okay. sorry congratulations and uh, it's sometimes a struggle you know how it is <laughs> what's well, business it's business it's business uh, you know things are doing a little better picking up and uh, I invested in a drone. That's kind of what we came here to talk about a little okay. bit tonight. Is uh, we're gonna kind of I'll show you a demo with your, your producer there. Yeah, so oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. A demo and just a little bit of uh, how I've kind of added that to my arsenal on TV. So we use that to capture a lot of things around the valley area. People just love to sit back. I'll put a nice sure. little music bed with it, and people love to sit back and try to figure out where things are. Yeah. If if it's higher up, and a lot of times it's some of your best shots are the. Uh, 50 to 100 feet shots mm -hmm. where you can make it out but you're you're up there so uh, it's worked out well for us so far football high school football do y'all do any high we do football? we cover high school okay. football uh, we do a game of the week okay each okay. each uh, week we try to cover our home team so yeah yeah sure <laughs> but uh the, the rams game. the valley rams we cover valley rams actually there's uh six teams that we try to get around to cover okay. mainly it's valley lynette and Springwood and Chambers. Now we do cover Lafette sometime mm -hmm. uh, in Beulah. In Beulah. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll okay. go cover those, but uh, those mainly the, the three or four that I mentioned that we cover a, a good bit more because uh, our viewing area is there. I, I would. I've just always thought anytime you can show young people, you will get the moms and dads, the grandparents, uh, the aunts and uncles to watch it, and especially with the little ones. Uh, Where is that? Yeah, you're ex exactly right. I wish I would get out. I, I, I don't. Yeah, they're, do they're somebody's stuff. niece or nephew or oh. uh, grandbaby. Yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> yeah, but they can hold on to that. You know, yeah. whether you get them a copy or they they record the show forever. I mean, you know, I, right. I, I, I guess because I've you know doing the front porch all those years, those five and six year olds that I had on the show at one time, you know, now are you know. 1920, 20, you know, plus goes years by quick, old. Yeah, they're about to retire. Eight huh? years ago, they were yeah. retired. Yeah. yeah, but it, it, it's, it's, it's <laughs> so crazy. I, I know uh, uh, one little girl uh, was six years old, uh, came on the show, just just a die, crazy personality, lovely personality, and she had the prettiest blue eyes, and, and her mom is sitting over here, and I'm sitting here, you know, talking to Becca, Becca Caldwell, and she's like 17 now. Um, and, and I'm just, you know, can, you know, and I love to talk to the little folks. It don't take, I don't have to, it don't take me, I don't, it don't take anything for me to get out on their level because I'm there. I'm there <laughs> anyway. 
So I'm talking to her. And yeah, we noticed that by a Facebook <laughs> video you posted it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, mean, I don't care. I mean, I, 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 I love You really my, got a pretty good bit of hair there when you fluff it out like well, that. Well, yeah. It's pretty, pretty. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I'm, 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 I'm talking to her, and, uh, uh, and I said, you got the prettiest blue eyes. I said, where'd you get those pretty blue eyes? She said, from you. And, and I just, I didn't know what to say, and her mama just falls out on the floor with her daddy. Of course, she didn't know what we were laughing about. Her daddy calls me that afternoon and uh, says, uh, Kenny, is there anything that you and I need to, to discuss it? And <laughs> say, no, I don't, I don't believe so. But you, that's the thing about children. You never know. You ne you're right. You never know what they're going to say. You know, one say. of the most popular shows on TV right now is that with uh, Steve Harvey, Little Big yeah. Shots. Yeah, you're with, right. With the kids. And uh, uh, she don't remember this, but you remember the Art Link letter days. Art Link <laughs> and he... Uh, and Bill Cosby. Bill did Cosby did the same thing. And, and you know, mm -hmm. just those reactions that those guys, their faces, because it's not scripted, you know. That's so right. you ask those children a question and they go be real honest with you. And, and, and that's. Sometimes too honest. Yeah, exactly right. Yeah. But golly, you know, that's what people, to me, that's real TV. I know there's a lot of real TV that's being shown these yeah. days. It's well, not you don't real know what's thing. real and what ain't yeah, right. exactly right. on the reality stuff. Because stuff. most yeah. of it's scripted. That's right. I mean, you know, like we're sitting there right now, we're having a conversation. We don't have a script to go by. We just go right. find out about y'all, and you know, that, that's that's the way I I like to do it. But, uh, but, but we're, we're not going to tell too many lies today. I, we promise you that on, on TV right now. <laughs> you remember who we got out here. That's why I'm being quiet. Huh? That's why I'm being quiet. Oh, he's back there. Can, can I get a, give a shout out? I know sure. a few people in this area Please might be do. watching. I want to say hello to Ken Albertson. He's uh, one of the owners over there at uh, Oscars. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah, I know them. Yeah. So, uh, Good like, food over there. I'd like to say hello to them and a uh, uh, couple other people. I won't mention the names, but. Well, you, you feel in free the, to. In this, this area, especially to John Kennedy. Uh, John F. Kennedy. The, the owner here. I used to you work knew with it was John. John F. John, John F. Kennedy. JFK. John F. Kennedy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. sure, sure was. He is a go-getter. John is a go-getter. But if you ever go to eat lunch with him, make sure you get a couple of seats away from him. Oh, he, he might, he, get, yeah, he he might he, get some food on you. All <laughs> over you. Uh, it's funny you mentioned that. I was just in there the other day, and I'm in there, uh, we wanted to talk, but he just ordered, ordered something to eat. And I had to go and take a shower when uh, he yeah. had so much food all over me. We're going to take a commercial break. Put a net up. <laughs> yeah, put a net up. A thick net. Don't hang around. We'll be right back. <laughs> They can't touch what we found When the sun goes down in those hard times come a dime a dozen But girls of your kind of loving come one in a million They're so hard to find Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center provides optimum care for the whole person. Dr. Demo Popov specializes in the prevention and diagnosis of high blood pressure, kidney disease, diabetes, and acute and chronic conditions. Our weight loss clinic offers lipo shots and a guide to healthy weight loss. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center, where lifestyle changes are made. For over 60 years, East Central Alabama has relied on Jackson Refrigeration for installation and service on all brands, including Ream, Goodman, and York. Now we've expanded into A1 Four Seasons Heating and Air, a division of Jackson Refrigeration. We still make your comfort our priority and expect our staff to be the most experienced, dedicated, and trained to give you the highest quality of sales and service. When choosing your heating and air company, choose our family of professionals, the all-new A1 Four Seasons Heating and Air, the all-new division of Jackson Refrigeration. It's a good looking truck. It's Ram Truck Month at Vice Motors in Alex City. Save over $10,000 on a new 2016 Ram 1500 Bighorn Diesel 4x4 Crew Cab. It's Truck Month. Save over $8,500 on a new 2016 Ram 2500 4x4 Crew Cab. That's what I call wheel. Guaranteed lowest price or we'll pay you the difference in price twice. I've been trying to tell you. ViceChryslerDodge.com. Grace's Flowers in Alexander City on Hillaby Street has been making people happy for decades. Susie Kelly and her friendly staff continue that same great tradition. Grace's Flowers is a full-service florist for all occasions, funerals, weddings, and other special events. In addition to flowers, Grace's has a great gift selection as well. To send a smile or encouragement, call 234-4238 and Grace's Flowers will deliver. Grace's Flowers on Hillaby Street in Alexander City. 
Music Depot next to Depot Gun and Pond is the home of the unknown guitar man. But Music Depot is a true music store with a huge selection of Alvarez and Fender Acoustics and Fender Expo System for a great home entertainment sound with a price that will fit your budget. Music Depot has a repair shop to fix just about any guitar problem. If you are a music lover, you're going to love the selection you have to choose from at Music Depot on Highway 280 next to Depot Gun and Pond in Ellick City. Hi, I'm Dr. Kevin Sublett, formerly with Cardiology of Central Alabama. Residents of Alex City and surrounding areas now have access to UAB Medicine's world-class cardiac care close to home. I have teamed up with UAB to create the UAB Heart and Vascular Clinic of Central Alabama, conveniently located in the Russell Medical Center and offering the full spectrum of cardiovascular care. Board certified in interventional cardiology, I am committed to helping our patients enjoy full and active lifestyles. Call us today for an appointment. Jackson Drugs on Cherokee Road in Alexander City is home to a great gift selection for all occasions. Monogrammed beach towels, bathing suits, and bathing suit covers. Just about everything you'll need for your lake outing this summer. Tote bags, cosmetic bags, spring and summer clothes, and lots of jewelry. Duffel bags, initial journals, and notepads. Also, they carry jewel candles, wax melts, bath balms, soap, and perfume by Heavenly Scents. Roll Tide and War Eagle from Jackson Drugs in Alexander City. Well, right now it's uh, 52 degrees uh, after the rain uh, came. The rain will move on out, uh, but to, uh, to, to tomorrow's going to be an absolutely gorgeous day in the low 80s, but sunshine. And then uh, going in on the first part of the week, it's the same thing. It's just nothing but sunshine on my shoulders. And the days are getting warmer and warmer. The nights are getting warmer and warmer. And you know what that means. It is time to put the boat in if you haven't already put it in. If you're uh, need it service? Well, you need to probably get in line there. We've been talking about it for months, but now that time has arrived. Now, if you're looking for a Landau pontoon boat like you saw this weekend, uh, or, or like you're going to see uh, tomorrow, uh, tomorrow being Saturday, uh, you can check them out down there. In fact, uh, right past the River Bridge on the right is where they're having their boat show tomorrow. Uh, I was by there yesterday, and boy, they're really starting to stockpile them. That's Ellick City Marine. Johnny Lee is my no featured artist this coming Sunday afternoon on Collage Country 97.5. Johnny and I have a lot in common. Well, let's just say we have one thing in common. He's got big jaws too, but he can sing and he's got a brand new album coming out and he tells so many great stories and just really a, a one of the original uh, urban cowboys, a, a super nice guy. So tune in to Clyde Country 97.5 between 4 and 6 this coming Sunday afternoon and I promise you I'll play you some great classic country music. Out here, and it's time to go back with my friends out here from the valley, uh, the the Bonner family, and the uh, just just old plain old Ricky. Now, Ricky, yeah, yeah, you and Debbie have your son getting married here real soon. He's getting married the seventh of mm -hmm. May, mm -hmm. and I wish it was yesterday. Yeah, I tell you what, I've learned one thing: if I if my had my wife had a daughter, and I knew then what I know now to commit suicide. <laughs> <laughs> is it just a lot of work or what? Pressure. Just pressure. Make sure that everything's right. Oh, yeah, you want Money it right. Yeah. Yeah. Money yeah. in. Mm -hmm. And, you know, on fixed income, I hate it. <laughs> and I think my son's ready for it to be over. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah, they, I'm sure he is. Are they going to live uh, in they Auburn? Live, they live in Auburn. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. She's a beautician and he works mm -hmm. at Auburn University. Right. Well, I know they're looking forward to, uh, yeah, you're right. Yeah, they, right. They're looking forward to seeing it and right. uh, getting it getting it over with. So. Uh, but and, and, and this time of the year, I know my uh, daughter Maggie is uh, bridesmaid this weekend or shower next week. And then it's just one through the next month or two. Yeah, a month or two. And they're getting that age. I know that age bracket where they're going to be in a lot of that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Yes, that's and, true. And me, I just try to just sit back and um, watch. You're involved in the TV station. I am. And in what? What? I do our daily news. Okay. Our daily live news. You get out and find it? 
or or as far as no, he helps me with okay. with okay. most of it. Right but, but do you get in front of the camera? Do you, you get in front of the camera? And, <laughs> I do. Okay, okay, I do. okay. And very good at it. camera talent. Very good at it. Does that bother you? Does the camera bother you? No, it used to at first, mm -hmm. but not anymore. Yeah, it's just you I mean, adapt to it, and it's act like it's not there. Mm -hmm. I mean, that, to me, that's a. Uh, uh, but but some folks don't. They don't adapt to it. I mean, you know. No, we've had people, grown men, come in and they will get so nervous. I think it's so funny. <laughs> what it is is preachers, and I say, well, yeah. why are you so nervous? You you speak in front of a congregation of a hundred, two hundred people, and you get on TV, and there's nobody here. I mean, that, sweaty that, palm I nervous. Know, right? I know <laughs> that camera just does it makes something them freeze up. To, to folks. I've I've run into folks like Ricky, you know, out and about, just cut up and carry on. And I say, man, they get y'all out, get you out here on the show. That's right. Get out here, and can't pull. You can't get nothing out of out of them. That's right. Uh, so, but you know, and, and and I never want that to happen. I, I'm, I've always been very careful when you sit down or you sit down. I don't make sure that you're you're comfortable. Right. And not you know put you where you're not right. comfortable. Number one, I'm not going to ask you any off the wall, well, maybe some off the wall questions, but uh, any bad stuff. I, mean, I, I would never put anybody on the spot. Well, it's repetition, you get used to it. You know yourself, if you take a week vacation, you come back, you're a little bit rusty, you, you know, when you get back into the groove. And then after a day or two back at work, you get, you know, you're back in the groove again. Sometimes it takes a little bit to get, get with it. I think this can be a great career for especially young folks that are just getting involved in, you know. Yeah. Maybe, you know, and maybe that's something they want to try. Well, let them try it. And y'all would probably have plenty of uh, I wish men I had, and women that would want to get out there and try it. But, you know, maybe they find out. Right. That's not, this ain't not what I want yeah, to do. Right. But they find out, though. Yeah. The way I got involved in it is doing my own thing. I had, I have no college. I wasn't taught by anybody. Yeah, I, right. I dug and learned everything myself as far as the video and the editing, mm -hmm. what equipment to use and all that kind of stuff. And you just have to dig in and, and read about it and mm -hmm. find out what's out there and find out, you know, the, the goods and the bads of all the stuff that you're buying and investing in. If you don't do your research, and you might be investing in a lot of failures. But I would think these days, especially with young folks, as you know, so many of them are so computer savvy, and they, that's just they are. You said a twelve-year-old in front of them. Yeah, I know. Window. That's the way they 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 they've grown up. So I would yeah. think it it would be a good time now for them if they're computer savvy and if they have that whatever it takes to get in front of a camera. Right. They can you know they can make a career out of it yeah. if yeah. they love it. You got to love it. Right. You got to love any job you. You get and you can be, you can be involved as far as doing what you do. You can be behind the mm -hmm. cameras like mm -hmm. the guys mm -hmm. here. Uh, there's a lot of different things you can do that where you don't have to be in in front of the camera. That you can still be involved in the the business. There's a lot lot and of opportunities out there. Behind the scene, I absolutely know nothing I about the camera. Either. I don't want to know anything. Me I don't know how I tried to, to teach her to run the board. And let me do the news no, sometimes. No, she said, no, I'm no, like, no, I'm no. Up. <laughs> you sure you want me back there? That's me. I, I don't well, want to know. Well, you've done fine. You have run it before. It makes bit. me nervous. Oh, it does. Just, oh, Lord. I don't know what I'm going to put up on that. She's afraid she's going to press the wrong button somewhere. Well, that's uh, 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 doing the, uh, the radio show on Sunday afternoon. They've taught me about about three buttons, uh, and, and I, that's all I need to know. Anything that's all you else? Want to know. That's all, yeah, you're right. That's all, that's all I want to know. So I'd be dangerous they asked me today, are they HD? I said, don't get me to lie. <laughs> <laughs> All I know is they're on TV. <laughs> and, and, and I don't either. That's why, you know, uh, with folks like uh, uh, Daniel Vest, and, and, and that's one thing, that person behind the scene, that producer can make or break a show. And I've been very fortunate all these years to do this for 20 years, and I've worked with some producers that were, were pretty tough to work with. Yeah. Dan Daniel's easy to work with. He knows what's going on. Maybe we're talking about a 57 Chevrolet, you know, for instance. And all of a sudden he, he finds it and he throws it up there. To me, right. and y'all know this, anytime you can, we can sit out here and talk all day long, but when you can throw a picture up of that 57 Chevrolet and then then folks, oh, what kind of what you're right. talking about now? Yes. It means so much. We're just yeah. talking about the, the kids, the, the young folks, uh, uh, parents, grandparents. Anytime you show their, their picture, it means, it, it personalizes. It, it does. Mm -hmm. To me, that's what, that, that's what you, you have to, to do with this, and it's not, a, it's not a easy. I like small time or small town TV. I don't think yeah. I don't think I would fit on a, a big 
big time TV, uh, just simply because and if I had a monitor. Yeah, so who's that redneck? Yeah, exactly right. I mean, yeah, I, yeah. Because uh, I'm not going to change. It's funny you mention that. <laughs> when I first started doing the front porch, I'm out here, you know, I, I just filled in. I, I was going to fill in for a couple of weeks and filled in for about 15 years. And when, when uh, I was running into folks, I said, I really do enjoy the show. And I'm thinking, okay, good. Well, one morning, this really uh, well educated gentleman called in. I didn't hear it, but the producer said, Well, you had a caller this morning. He told me, he said, we thought you almost had this uh, show to a, pro a professional level, then you bring this local yo-yo in. Well, right off it bothered me, but then real quick like, I said, I'm not going to change for anybody. I'm going to be Kenny You're going to run across those one or two. Oh, and one. You're, you're, yeah. it's the public. You're dealing with the public. They don't like the way you dress. They don't like your That's right. cap. They don't like your shoes. They go. They can sit there and pick you. You can't apart. satisfy them all. Yeah. And that's fine. Yeah. Uh, but but as long as you're watching, and you're yeah. not going to make them all happy. Right. Don't want to make them all unhappy, uh, either. But uh, it, it can be it can be very rewarding, especially with all the uh, the, the the folks you run into, and and especially yeah. sponsors. With a sponsor, I always want a sponsor to get something out of it. I don't want you to just advertise with me for year after year and you don't get anything out of it. Uh, and I just, because uh, that's, I want to I wanna make sure that, you know, that I'm doing my part. You right. know, you just want to spend their, spend their money uh, and try to make it affordable right. uh, for right. them. Uh, but I think y'all have some good things going on. We're going to take a commercial break and uh, we'll be right back. I mean. She knows I'm done some hard time. Southern Head and Neck Surgery offers the very latest in hearing aid technology. Best Sound Technology uses directional microphones to make your hearing aid more comfortable in noisy environments. Acoustic Fingerprint Technology gets rid of feedback and that annoying whistle. And our new Open Fit models are more comfortable, less noticeable, and sound better. A three-year warranty comes standard on all hearing aids along with continued service at no charge after the warranty expires. Dr. McLeod and his staff are ready to serve you at Southern Head and Neck Surgery in Alex City. Hey, Dad, let's go to the Sportman Outpost. Sportsman's Outpost, your one-stop destination for everything outdoors. Guns, archery range, ammo, processor, and taxidermist. Archery manager Randy Winslet, five-time Alabama state champion, says it's attention to detail that sets us apart from our competition. We believe in coming in early and staying late. At Sportsman's Outpost, we think everyone should be able to live their dream. Sportsman's Outpost, your leader in everything outdoors. In downtown Davel, Alabama, it's where you'll find Payne's Furniture for rocking good times. Got friends coming over for dinner? Well, we got the table set. Every child dreams of having their own bunk bed. Make their dreams come true today. You'll love this couch and love seat, along with a huge selection of throw rugs with prices to fit your budget. Put your feet up, make yourself comfortable. We'll see you at Payne's Furniture in downtown Davel. Right now, Jacob is only thinking about this game. He's not thinking about the clavicle injury he sustained last football season or the subsequent surgery and weeks of physical therapy. He's back in the game. With three orthopedic surgeons and a department dedicated to physical therapy, rehabilitation, and sports medicine, Russell Medical Center gets you back in the game for another winning Wildcat season. Orthopedic Medicine at Russell Medical Center. What's America's best-selling brand of trucks? You're in for a big surprise, pal. Actually, you're not. It's Ford F-Series again, and it wasn't even close. Same trucks that have been leading the industry for 39 straight years. Why? Game-changing innovation, like F-150's high-strength military-grade aluminum alloy, which helps make it stronger, more capable, and more efficient than ever. Innovation. It's why Ford F-Series is making every other truck brand history. steel, German engineered chainsaws and landscape products. The majority of which are made here in America by Americans. And exported to over 90 countries around the world. Find out why steel is number one in America at SteelUSA.com. Find your steel outdoor products and more at the new Satterfield Outdoor Living on Highway 280 in Alex City. 
Downtown Body Shop Airport Drive here in Alexander City is your car, truck, Jeep, accessories headquarters. That's right. Eddie Todd and the crew said, y'all come on by here and check out our showroom floor because we got a lot to offer. Like all covers for your truck or your, especially your Jeep. How about the to know? Those are covers for truck beds will lift up or fold back. That's Downtown Body Shop. Make sure you come by and check them out today for your truck, Jeep, and car accessories. Time to go to lunch. Well, not right now, but tomorrow, especially tomorrow's going to be a gorgeous day. You want to get out maybe with the family, or maybe you just want to go by yourself to Carlisle in downtown Alexander City and eat at the uh, soda fountain. Well, all week long, uh, you can get any panini. The, and let me tell you something, that chicken, bacon, ranch, the mac and cheese, roast beef, or turkey, or turkey Swiss is absolutely delicious. You can't go wrong, especially for $6, which includes your chips and a drink or some sweet tea. That is Carlisle in downtown Alexander City. Girl hanging all over him. He can't quit now. He's gone out on a limb. Then the place turns quiet as a mummy's tomb. Guess who happened to walk in the room? Uh, Johnny Lee, I just uh, a big fan of Johnny Lee, a big fan of these folks out here, uh, Carly and Bradley Bonner and Ricky Price, and uh, just talking TV. Are you a radio guy or TV guy? I mean, what 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 got you started? Well, uh, I was in the newspaper business oh, really? for a while, okay. and I went from it. yeah, and, and I worked there at Valley Times News five yeah. years. Then I went to work for a cable company, a cable rep company that mm -hmm. uh, did the cable insertion. Uh, was that T Charter TV. or? TV. Uh, actually, we inserted on Charter and uh, the other cable stations. Okay, okay. They, they bought out the oh, okay, yeah. and that kind of thing. And I uh, sold that for a while, and it, it took a while to get a spot back. It mm -hmm. took about a month because we had to send it off to Macon, Georgia, and mm -hmm. get it back about a month before they'd get on the air. So I, my customers weren't too happy about that. So I said, I think I can speed this up a little bit. So I bought my own stuff and started shooting my own and making my own commercials mm -hmm. and I'd have them on TV within three or four days instead of four weeks. Golly. And so, uh, did did y'all use those uh, tapes that were about that long, about that? Beta tapes. Yeah, beta Back in the day, yeah. yeah. I remember them That's here right. 20 years beta ago. Beta tapes. Uh, and quality-wise, not bad yeah, still. Yeah, But uh, hard to find decks around now. But uh, <laughs> everything's gone digital. <laughs> But uh, yeah, that's uh, funny. The old beta decks, and actually, we used to go to the cable head ends where they'd have yeah. the, the it'd be in a, uh, like a 24 by 12 building or mm -hmm. something, and you'd find it, and we'd go in there with a little old what they call a jazz drive, and we'd insert our commercials in there, and we'd enter in a password, and it'd download your commercials, and somehow another the computer figured out where to put them. Come a long <laughs> way, come a long baby. way since that oh. day. Mm -hmm. And then I went from that to uh, going to Nashville, Tennessee, for a while, and working for Dell. Computers. Hmm. Uh, did you like just that, trying to find like out what Nashville? I want to do with the rest of my, mm -hmm. <laughs> my life? Did you like? I did Nashville? love Nashville. It was mm -hmm. a nice place. Uh, just, well, it's really growing now, man. Yeah, it's got homesick crazy. a little bit because yeah. my kids wasn't grown yet. Yeah. So I moved back, and then I, that's when I had the opportunity to get the uh, station going. Yeah. All right, let's let's talk. Was is there a big difference since you've been in all print, uh, radio, TV? Which one do you think's easier to? work with or easier to sell? Uh, easier to sell for me is TV because that's what I love to do. The, yeah, creative, okay, right. the creative side of yeah. it is, is what I like. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's an advertisement for everybody. The, the newspaper works well for some. TV yeah. works well for some. Radio works well yeah. for some. Billboards work well for mm -hmm. some. It's according, you know, what, whatever works for you. On, social media and online is what we're spinning off of now. We're doing a, a lot of that. We. I'll take all my commercials and as soon as I produce them, not only do I put them in my programming list, but I put them on social media and, mm -hmm. and spread it. So that way they just take the spot and spread it and so they can watch it when they want to watch it. Did so, you go to did you go to college or anything? No, that's what I was telling you. I, I mean, I, so you used all this? I learned all this. So, so, okay, I didn't yeah, know if you uh, took I a college dig, course. No, I either dig in and find out. Or, I don't, and you don't said you didn't. To, I was a drawing guy in high school. I took drafting. I uh, went to trade school and mm -hmm. got a, a degree in drafting, and then all the computer-aided stuff came out, so I changed gears. <laughs> I went to junior college out here for a, a 
quarter, and after I made that six on that biology test, I, <laughs> I, I said, I don't, I, don't, I don't think this is going to be for me. And, nah, ain't you know, your deal. I don't have any regrets because I'm kind of like you. I got out and started to, uh, I worked in selling men's retail clothes <clears> for seven years, so I, I dealt with old John Q. Public, and that was where I got my education, and that's, that's you right. know, w what I've, I've done all my life is dealing with the, dealing with the. That's the all I've done, uh, working with the public, been in sales. Uh, I started out uh, in furniture business when mm -hmm. right out of school mm -hmm. and then sold office furniture for like six years and then went in the insurance business for a while with my dad with Liberty National, worked mm -hmm. there five oh, yeah. years mm -hmm. and then that's when I went into the media, started with the newspaper and here at where I am now. Insurance, TV stuff. you gotta be one yeah. of the toughest things if out If you there. can sell insurance, you, you can, can sell, sell anything. Yeah. And I, I, that was one, when Ellen and I first got married, I went to, we were living in Birmingham, and I worked for, I would say for a year in insurance, and boy, it just, I, I'd get in on doing cold calls, getting in on the phone, and, and I, I'd, I'd gotten to a point, this is how good a salesman I was. You, you don't want to buy any insurance, do you? Right. And, and I, I just, but I, I, and I, that's just, that just wasn't my thing, but I, I think especially with young folks or anybody now, Get out there and, 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 and do different things and find out what you... Find out what you love. Yeah, and then find out what you don't want to do. That's right. I want to take a break right now, so yeah. that's what we'll do. We'll be right back. Some are just common thieves, they say. The next thing you know, one will steal your heart away. Now let me tell you about the dangers. If you don't like taking chances, then you better keep moving on. Hi folks, I'm Ronnie McDowell, and make sure you tune in to The Kenny Dean Show. If you're seeing the American cockroach, throw up the red flag. Ladybugs, throw up the red flag. Ants and swarming termites, throw up the red flag. And kudzu bugs, throw up the red flag. That's red flag pest control. So the caution is on. Call Red Flag Pest Control today. I'm Scott Davis with Red Flag Pest Control. Celebrating our 10th anniversary. Call me today, 256-825-0430. Pearson's Place in downtown Dadeville is proudly serving the Lake Martin area with fresh flowers, ladies' clothing, Mama's Secrets cookies, which are out of this world delicious, and a store full of great gift items. Donna McCain has 30 plus years experience in this business and she would love for you to come by and see her. Pearson's Place, downtown Dadeville, 256-825-9998. For flowers, clothing, sweets, gifts, and more, visit Pearson's Place in downtown Dadeville. Call 256-825-9998. The Sure Shot, located on Highway 280 in Alexander City, is Lake Martin Sportsman's headquarters. In the market for a new rifle or shotgun? Come to the Sure Shot. Want a new bow or need to practice with the one you have? Come to the Sure Shot. Thinking about a firearm for self defense? Come to the Sure Shot. Got a hunt planned and need some gear? Come to the Sure Shot. For all your archery, shooting, and hunting needs, let the Sure Shot be your first stop. Lionville Health and Rehab in Lionville, Alabama has a staff and has had a staff of caring folks for years. If it has come that time in life for that person in your family to look at the possibility of going into a health and rehab facility, you have a choice. You have a choice to choose and the fine folks at Lionville Health and Rehab would like to take this time to invite you by to meet them and them you. Caring folks that care for you and your family. You have a choice. The number to call is 256-396-2104. Jackson Drugs on Cherokee Road in Alexander City is home to a great gift selection for all occasions. Monogrammed beach towels, bathing suits, and bathing suit covers. Just about everything you'll need for your lake outing this summer. Tote bags, cosmetic bags, spring and summer clothes, and lots of jewelry duffel bags, initial journals, and notepads. Also, they carry jewel candles, wax melts, bath balms, soap, and perfume by Heavenly Scents. Roll Tide and War Eagle from Jackson Drugs in Alexander City. We are a debt relief agency. We help people file Chapter 7 and Chapter 13 under the Bankruptcy Code. Marsha Mason is pleased to announce the new location of Mason Law Firm at 217 Madison Street in Alexander City. Marsha Mason is your local attorney for bankruptcy and social security disability. Call your hometown attorney, Marsha Mason, at 256-329-1313. All initial consultations are free and strictly confidential. No representation is made that the quality of legal services to be provided is greater than that of other attorneys. 
Foshi's Watts on Davil Road in Ellick City has propane and firewood to keep you warm and cold beer to cool you off with great prices. 16-ounce Bud and Bud Light for only 99 cents. 12-pack of Natural Light for only $8.99 and a 30-pack for only $18.99. Foshi's Watts has non-ethanol gas, live bait and tackle, 5 a.m. breakfast Monday through Friday, comfort color t-shirts for Alabama and Auburn, and for you Foshi's Watts fans, t-shirts for you too. That's Foshi's Watts on Davil Road in Alex City. Let's go down to Lake Martin Automotive and Truck Center, the walking man's friend, where you can buy here and you can pay here. I see Lori and the, the folks at uh, uh, Lake Martin Automotive and Truck Center, just like this 2005 uh, Pacifica, this Camry, uh, and Camrys, they, they have been a good vehicle for many, many, many years. And of course, they, they uh, keep a selection all the time, a different selection with their inventory at Lake Martin Automotive and Truck Center. And don't forget about this 1997 Ford Crown Victoria with a Kenwood stereo and cold AC. Clean, real clean. That's Lake Martin Automotive and Truck Center, Davil Road, Ellic City. out here and we got the drone going uh, right now. Brad, tell me about this because I, I mean I've seen them. I don't know how they work. I'll give you a little quick demo here and we'll run, cut to the tape. It'll do more justice mm -hmm. for it. But what we have here is a Phantom 2. This is two models back. This mm -hmm. is made by DJI, a company out of China. These are one of the most popular drones that are out there now that's so what gives it the video, though, is this gimbal right here. If you can see this thing, when it flies, that camera stays steady. Mm -hmm. It's going to give you your smooth video out of it. How does and it stay steady? Well, it works yeah. off GPS. When uh, That's the great thing about it. When you get it up in the air, once you have it calibrated, yeah. it'll, you know, if you lose it'll, it, it'll lose fix. sight, it'll, it'll fly back to you. Right. When you let go of the throttle on the remote, yeah. it's going to sit right there until you tell it what to do. Golly. And it's, so it's, it's not going to drop? It's not going to drop. It's going to sit there until you tell it what to do again. You move it right, left, back and forth, up or down. And uh, what I do is to get my smooth shots is I always hook up this, mm -hmm. which is my monitor. Mm -hmm. This little antenna here that you see on the, the bottom of that there sends a signal back to the remote, to the uh, transmitter here. And it gives me my, my picture on the screen. That way I can frame up my shots. Without that, you kind of like driving a car with blindfold mm -hmm. on. <laughs> How far can you, I mean, if you're set up uh, in downtown Bay, like at, at, at trade days, how far? Uh, right now, go with this bottle, the Phantom 2 model, mm -hmm. about 1,500 feet. Okay. It's, okay. It's about, and of course, line of sight, it does go further sometime. I've had it further mm -hmm. uh, from the, the handheld remote that you have. Now, the models, they got a Phantom 4 out now, which with it, it has what they call the light bridge technology, and it will go up to 1.2 miles. Wow. And you can sit there with your, uh, and it comes, you hook it up to your tablet. It works off Wi-Fi, and you're sitting here with a tablet instead of a screen, and you're mm -hmm. using your remote to fly, and you're looking at where you're flying. And you can actually bring up Google Maps and pinpoint where you want it to fly. That's and unreal. you sit there and wait on it to come back. Mm -hmm. But to me, that kind of takes the fun out of it. Learn to fly it, and then if you you know you got jobs to do, you want to tell it to go certain places and fly and get your footage. That's fine. But to me, the safest way is line of sight. If you can't see it, then you need to be where you can look at it. Let's just say you have a car dealership that advertises with you. Would you use Which I do. that? Okay, and I, and I do. Okay. I, 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 I would. Th I would think that'd be an excellent. Way. I use it a lot on the car commercials. Uh, I've done two weddings here lately. I've mm -hmm. used it in in weddings. It's mm -hmm. great for those type things. Uh, real estate developers. Uh, You've used it for that too. Mm -hmm. Used it for that. Oh, I think, yeah. Uh, matter of fact, uh, the Chambers County uh, industrial department, mm -hmm. uh, park industrial park, right. and the uh, Hugel Industrial Park. I've highlighted highlighted both of those for the. Uh, Chambers IDA, industrial development. Dumb, dumb question. Let's just say your your uh, uh, car lot that's advertising with you. You're up here and you're you're panning the uh, the whole the whole uh, inventory, lot. the whole mm -hmm. lot. 
can you come down here and zero in on a truck? I mean, you know, and now, just really have a show well, close newer, up of just that? This one won't do that, but with the newer models out, that is Golly. possible because they build the, the zoom on the remote, so yeah. you could actually, uh, the biggest I've seen so far is a 3X zoom, which mm -hmm. gives you a little bit more leeway. The main, main reason they use those is for, uh, what do they call it? Cell tower right. investigations okay, yeah, yeah. and power lines yeah. and that kind of thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, they send those up instead of helicopters. Now it's a lot cheaper and uh, <laughs> yeah. a lot safer. If you got that. a zoom, you can zoom down in on it without having to fly mm -hmm. so close to it. Uh, that zoom helps. Out. I bet that sap sucker can find a marijuana crop out there too. Oh well, let me show you something else. Oh, yep. <laughs> oh, it'll find a uh, lot of. <laughs> Lord, don't pull out no dope. <laughs> That's a good point, but to be honest with you, deer hunters do use these now, too, the, to find out where the deer are. Really? Uh, that makes sense. Yeah. See, so when you cut this remote on, what you want to make sure is uh, you have it in GPS, and you flip this thing up and down about five, six, seven times mm -hmm. after it cuts on, mm -hmm. and you calibrate it, and you take it, and you spin it around, and mm -hmm. so forth, and you'll see that on the video. And it, it, I'll show you how it works on that if you want to go ahead and cut to it. Oh, okay, we got the video already in there, or... or uh, Okay, I tell you what, let's do right now. We're gonna take a, a commercial break. Get them and payers when in. We, when we uh, come back, we'll uh, be showing some of uh, some of the video. Y'all hang around with us. Hill Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, where service makes the difference. They have a solution for any heating, cooling, or plumbing issue you may have. Call Chris Moncrief at 256-496-2056 for plumbing and Damon Davis at 334-799-6641 for heating and cooling. That's Oak Hill Heating, Cooling, and Plumbing, where service makes the difference. Alabama number 05185. The Meadows Assisted Living of Alexander City is a 16-bed facility that offers three home-cooked meals daily, including snacks. Other services include local transportation to appointments and outings, assistance with personal care, and 24-hour staff availability. Rates are much lower than traditional long-term care, and rent is month-to-month. -month. The Meadows Assisted Living offers something, too, that you just can't put a price on. Peace of mind. Call today, 256-234-0800. Lake Martin Garage Towing, Tires, and Muffler. Now they also do auto repair, have new and used tires, auto lockout service, 24-hour wrecker service. Let me give you this number right now. Put it down. 256-825-6139. 256-825-6139. Also, they will beat competitor's price guaranteed. Lake Martin Garage, 256-825-6139. Southern Pipe and Supplies, serving Clay, Tallapoosa, and surrounding counties for decades. Not just a great store for plumbing supplies and service, but a showroom and salespeople to help you with your decisions on brand names like Delta Faucets and customized shower systems. Make sure you pick up your heavy-duty and well-insulated K2 coolers. Southern Pipe and Supplies, located on Dable Road in Alexander City. Call 256-234-4235. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center provides optimum care for the whole person. Dr. Demo Popov specializes in the prevention and diagnosis of high blood pressure, kidney disease, diabetes, and acute and chronic conditions. Our weight loss clinic offers lipo shots and a guide to healthy weight loss. Alex City Internal Medicine and Nephrology and Weight Loss Center, where lifestyle changes are made. Carlisle, downtown Alexander City. All right, boys and girls, tomorrow's going to be a gorgeous day. Now, while you're in there, soda fountain eating, uh, guys, I want you to uh, go over there with your wife or your girlfriend and check out the ladies' clothes in there. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly right. Exactly right. Tie-dye is real popular these days, but uh, just a huge selection. And uh, especially Mother's Day is right around the corner. Don't think about that, too. Spartina bags, the jewelry, and just a huge selection of ladies' clothes and children's clothes at Carlisle in downtown Alexander City. Well, the 
smile in her eyes, the touch of her skin, that she would discount me as one of her friends. Somehow I know. We find all that, all kind of things out about the drone out here. For Bradley Bond, yeah, birds don't about. like them. That's what we say. <laughs> do they feel like there's a, a predator? I think they, you they think? feel like they're invading their airspace. Yeah, yeah. And, and they are. Yeah, and they are. Yeah. I've, not, I've not thought about that. Uh, there's videos on YouTube of eagles bringing them down. Uh huh. And once they hit one of those props, unless you got a, a drone that's going to take up for one of the motors being out. It's, so it's coming down. Really? Okay, okay. No matter okay. what. It okay, it's okay. not going to regain. So it needs all the, the, it the needs propellers all the props. to Now, they make got sure. some new ones out now that uh, if one motor goes bad, the other four or six or whatever's mm -hmm. on it knows how to take up the slack. So they're constantly now coming out with a, a different, a bigger, a better. Just like computers. All the time. All the time. Okay. And these have been out for. I've had for, my, this model, I've had almost two years now. Okay, okay. Yeah. You know, we were working Rex and, you, and hiring those, like around the Birmingham area. Mm -hmm. There's a guy in Birmingham. He'd go anywhere. We were using them on Rex probably 10 years ago. Really? Yeah. yeah. God. And fire Lord. scenes and yeah. all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a lot cheaper than a chair picker. Yeah. The yeah, technology yeah. just has came out for the consumer like me and you, though. Mm -hmm. It used to be only military right. type stuff or mm -hmm. a cops okay. and oh, okay. yeah, police yeah. Yeah. type. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, uh, it's, it's beginning to be very, very popular. I would say in the next two or three years, it won't be nothing to walk out your door and just see drones flying around. That's, well, that's, that's crazy, scary. Don't that, that, that's kind of crazy, that's, but that's scary though. It's kind of like right that. now, it's an expensive. If you want to do it as a hobby, I'll go ahead and tell you: do some research, uh, buy you a hundred dollar drone like I did. Mm -hmm. I trained with a hundred dollar drone before mm -hmm. I went ahead and got this because I wanted to make sure I could fly one that did not have GPS versus one that did. Mm -hmm. If you can fly one that doesn't have GPS, where you gotta have that remote in your hand the whole time, right. you learn to fight the wind and keep it steady and that kind of thing, mm -hmm. you can fly this one very easy. Okay, okay, just yep. getting some uh, experience. i tell you what right. let's do right now, let's show the, uh, uh, the video in there. Roll that bean footage. Welcome to my first segment about uh, my drone. A lot of people have been asking about how long I've been flying, what all it'll do. First question they usually ask is, how far will that thing go? All right, the first thing I want to do is go ahead and talk about the drone itself. It's called a quadcopter UAV, unmanned aerial vehicle, whatever you want to call it. This is a quadcopter. They make them on up with six propellers or eight propellers. Quadcopters have four, of course. And this is my setup. I customized mine with a sticker, ordered that and put it on, just make it yours. You can paint them, a lot of people do that. But what this thing does is give me, it gives me the aerial video that you see on TV mostly. And it's used for a lot of different things now. And this particular setup uses a GoPro. This is called the DJI Phantom 2. And as you can see here, the GoPro, I have a little lens protector on there. The GoPro sits in what they call a gimbal. And that's the movement here that gives the camera the floating ability and once you turn it on and see it fly it'll stand up and take notice and you'll see it do its work. This is uh, the second gimbal that they came out with, the 3D gimbal which is a lot more stable than the 2D that they had. This is uh, works off GPS. I'll show you how that works in a minute. I calibrate it and GPS knows where I took off from and if I lose sight of it or if I have to have a an emergency landing, I can hit my, hit my fail safe button on my remote and it'll come back to me and remember where I calibrated it and it'll land right there where it took off from. And let's see, this little thing here that you see, that's the transmitter that sends the signal to the monitor that I'm about to show you. This is where I can see what I'm videoing on screen and I'll get into that right now. All right, this is the monitor that I was telling you about that I see my, my shots on. Whatever I'm videoing up in the sky, I can see with this transmitter. I screw on the antenna here, and then uh, I have all this Velcro on the back, the transmitter, and the, this is the battery that, that powers the transmitter here. And once I plug all that in, I can see my shots that I'm getting from the air. 
and let's see I have a couple of spare batteries here of course flight time on these things are kind of short they average 20 to 25 minutes without anything on it okay now we're going to talk about how we power this thing up the first thing I do and I always do of course is check my battery make sure we're, we're taking off with a full battery and you can do that by pressing this button here on the back and it'll give you four green lights in which we do have a, a full battery now the next thing you do is turn your remote on make sure you have your remote on make sure you all your switches are in the right places and I won't get into those details but they are now we're gonna power it on if you'll notice right here the gimbal is gonna do its thing I give it a few minutes to work itself and then I know the that's my up and down control for my camera that's how I know it's working correctly all right now the first thing we want to do is calibrate this and I do that by flipping the switch up and down about seven or eight times that puts it in calibration mode and then I do this Then I turn it on its other axis, and I do this. After you get through doing that, you'll see these lights, green lights flashing. And then we wait for it to find its satellites. We check it underneath, we'll see your green light. Once it starts blinking all green, right now it hadn't found all its satellites, so it'll find 12 in all but you have to have six to take off. So we're gonna wait for it to find its satellites and we'll take off. Well, to get the propellers going before you take off, both throttles come down. That gets your propellers going. We'll let those warm up a few minutes. Okay, we got all green lights in the back so we can go ahead and take off. That's letting me know that we have all the satellites and now if we happen to lose the copter, it'll fly back by itself. We're gonna go ahead and take off and show you what this thing will do for a little bit. Weather outside uh, for tomorrow is going to be uh, uh, 80 degrees, 83 uh, for Sunday, 83 for uh, Saturday and Sunday. We got all kind of crazy days coming up right now, but I can just go ahead and tell you uh, the this weekend uh, and next week is going to be absolutely gorgeous uh, uh, and warm weather. Of course, uh, don't forget to get out tomorrow for the Ellick City Marine having their uh, boat show uh, on the other side of uh, 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 how on Highway 280, right past the bridge on the on the right. If you're coming from Dable, it'll be on your left before you go across the bridge. I'll be doing a remote for Clyde Your Country 97.5 down there from 12 to 3. Look forward to seeing your smiling faces there.
Arctic Air and Heat is your Ream dealer. They are there for you year-round. So whether it's hot weather or cold weather, they're going to come see you. Now, they'll work on anything, any brand that is, but if you want folks that you can depend on, you can depend on Arctic Air and Heat. I'm talking about Kaziah. That would be Daryl Kaziah. 256-825-6745. So whether it's cold or it's hot, that's Arctic Air and Heat. For the best in repair and service, see the Depot Computer in Alexander City. Next door to Depot Gun and Pawn and the Music Depot. They sell service and repair desktops, laptops, tablets, and cell phones. Maybe you need parts like chargers, batteries, hard drives. They even offer data retrieval for disc failures and hard crashes. Great prices and great customer service. 60-day layaway, same as cash. Depot Computer, 3968 Highway 280, Alexander City. Sales, service, and repair. Forbes Auto Sales Highway 280 in Kellerton, Alabama is a whole lot more than what you're looking at. I love the car lot because Robert is always going to the sale and changing up his inventory. Y'all come on inside and let's go to the shop. Oh, they got a shop and they work on just about anything. Cars, trucks, vans, your cars, trucks, and vans. How about tires? You didn't even know they had tires? Yes, sir. That's Forbes Auto Sales Highway 280 in Kellerton, Alabama. LaCay's Flowers and Gifts in Davil has a great selection of gifts to choose from, like Camille Beckman bath fragrance and lotions, Jennifer Jangle pocketbooks and backpacks, Willow Tree figurines, Heavenly Light candles, Jim Shore figurines, jewelry and purses, Alabama and Auburn and Davil Tiger items, gourmet soups, dips, Wickles pickles, and Aspen spice, also a personal bridal registry, along with a beautiful selection of flowers at LaCay's Flowers and Gifts, 825-2890. Our caring staff at Bass Funeral Home stands ready to serve you in your hardest of times. Bass Funeral Home is family owned and operated and has been for almost 30 years. Come in and speak with their compassionate staff about funeral arrangements. Every goodbye is different, so they offer a variety of pre-arrangement and cremation packages available at competitive and reasonable pricing. Bass Funeral Home also has the largest chapel in Tallapoosa County. Let us help you plan a funeral that reflects the life of your loved one. If you haven't been to the world-famous Rodeo Club lately, it's time you see the updates and improvements. The Rodeo Club is open seven days a week. Happy hour until seven with absolutely no cover charge. The Rodeo Club is proud to be Lake Martin's best little karaoke bar. Come relax, have a good time, and sing all night at the Pony Bar inside the Rodeo Club. It's the world-famous Rodeo Club on 34 in Dade, Lake Martin's premier party destination since 1977. And now better than ever before open up this case they Cherokee fiddle uh hippie fans Cherokee fiddle in fact this was not a number one hit but it's one of my favorite Johnny Lee hits and you'll hear this on Clyde Country 97.5 Sunday afternoon between four and six my special guest is the urban cowboy himself Mr. Johnny Lee I'll be playing some classic country and some bluegrass too so Look forward to you tuning in uh, on Clyde Country 97.5. Back out here, uh, Johnny Lee there, the, <laughs> the the Bonner family, I the Price family. The Let Price add, is right. I want to add Lay one thing on. to you. A lot of people might wonder why Ricky's here. He, do, he does help me out. Security? <laughs> he does help me out on Fridays when my live show. Yeah, and I'm sorry we he, ain't got my, around to that. He's my show host, yeah. Yeah, and, he, and, he, he and he's, a, talk. he's a good straight one. Straight talk with yeah, and Ricky. That's right. Well, he, and he keeps his man hanging on the mute button. <laughs> if, if you go to hptv3.com, mm -hmm. you can uh, log on and see our, go to our website, hit live what time? stream. Because you're on uh, Eastern Time. That's correct, yeah. What, what time uh, is it? We'll be on live 9 in the morning. Okay. At Eastern okay. Time, okay. 8. Uh, this time, okay. which would, you know, this is a hour long show for broadcast. But yeah. Yeah. You can watch. Uh, matter of fact, all weekend you can see this, uh, our straight talk show at uh, 12 and 6. OK, make sure you over the weekend. Make sure you tune in and we're going to be back out here. I'll have them out here real soon and we'll be flying around with the drone. Y'all have a great weekend. See you back out here Monday night in color. <laughs>